Jake Quinzel here with another video. This is a pretty special video, but before I get into what I'm going to open up for this one, I wanted you to take a look at my new setup. I moved some things around, dusted my shelves. I'm not done yet. To the left, it's still incomplete. To the right, it's still incomplete. I just got the two middle ones, the ones mostly featured in my videos done. That way, you can check it out. Now, of course, when I upload my other videos, I'm going to go back to the old setup just while I do the backlog of videos. But going on forward, this is how it's going to look. All right, I'm excited. So, um, for Comic-Con, I believe. Yeah, I think it was Comic-Con. Mattel had a very spectacular addition to his action figure line with the addition of uh, Ray Arnold's last scene, I think it was called. I placed a pre-order when it was announced and I've been waiting patiently for it to arrive and guess what? It's here! That's right, it's arrived from Mattel. I'm gonna do this unboxing. I'm very cautious about using a knife so I think I'm gonna just use my hands to open this. Here's the box and let's tear into it using our hands. Ah, I guess I'm opening it from the bottom. And inside, this is what we have. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Whew, I'm excited. We have a letter. Our mission is to make sure you're completely satisfied with your purchase. So here it is, just telling me what I bought. That's nice. We got ourselves some bubble. That's nice. And then we have the Peace to the Sea Stars. All right. Wow, this is cool. This is cool. Oh boy, I have no idea how to open this, how to display this. So uh, here we have the box from the front. Very nice, very nice. From the top, again, nice, nice. The bottom, in the back. In the back it says, what happens to Ray Arnold in his final scene? After shutting down Jurassic Park's power system, he lends a hand to help turn on the circuit breakers, but he isn't seen again, at least not entirely. Because if you recall in Jurassic Park, when Ellie Sattler goes to the shed, a hand, a forearm, falls on her shoulder belonging to Ray Arnold. So let's open this bastard up. Should I peel the sticker? It has tape. I don't think I can peel the tape. So I'm gonna grab my knife real quick. Do 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 do. All right, here we go. Ooh, I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. So let's slicey slicey. All righty. And inside we have more box. And as I pull this out, ooh, this feels good. Here we have the shell that he goes into from all around, as you can see. Now we open up the front. How do you open the front? Here, let's get up close. Right, rabbit, object, whatever it did, it did it all. But with the key checks off, the computer didn't find the keystroke, so the only way to find them now is to go through the computer's lines of code one by one. So this is not what he says in his final scene. This is what he says in the in the visitor center. Yes, but we've never shut down the entire system before. It may not come back on at all. <sighs> no, 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 that's crazy. You're out of your mind. He's absolutely out of his mind. Nice. Three minutes, I can have power back on the entire park. Hold on to your butt. <laughs> he says it. Of course he says it. He has to say it. And it repeats. That is so cool. So, I have the... I have the John Hammond from San Diego Comic Con. Um, that one doesn't talk. It just comes in a really cool box. 
Then I got the Dennis Nebby for San Diego Comic Con. That one does talk, and he comes in a really cool package. Now I have Ray Arnold in the, from San Diego Comic Con, and he talks and comes in a really cool package. So this is going to go up on my shelf. Um, probably up here somewhere. You probably can't see because I have the camera in so you don't see the mess all around me that you see my toys. But I'm going to have them up there with uh, the Ray Arnold uh, Amber Collection. And then with my John Hammond and the John Hammond Amber Collection. And the Nedry and the Nedry Amber Collection and so on. So this is so cool. I love it. I love it. My box is a little messed up here. That's too bad. It's from the magnet. The magnet messed up the box a little bit. But it's not too noticeable. It still looks pretty sweet. And it comes in two boxes. So I get to uh, display one box next to the other. That'll look really awesome. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Inside the box, we also have uh, little papers telling you about the batteries and the warranty and whatever. Never look at those. At least I don't. Um, so with all that said, I'm not going to take out Ray or the Raptor from the box, unfortunately. So I can't give you an up-close look as the figures like some channels may do. Because I'm a mostly in the box collector, so I want to keep this one in pristine condition. But, oh my god, I'm so excited. With all that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I upload every Monday and sometimes on Wednesdays. I try to do unboxings, but sometimes I just do hauls from stores and from storage. If there is anything left in storage. I don't recall when's the last time we went. But, um, yeah. If you enjoy my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Did you order the Ray Arnold um, figure set thing? Did you get it yet? Are you psyched? Are you happy? Did it come a little messed up? Let me know in the comments. Um, do you get any of the other uh, San Diego Comic Con Jurassic Park stuff? Like the John Hammond or the N Dennis Nedry? Let me know in the comments. And I am Jay Quinzel. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you soon. Love. Peace. Chicken grease. Is that a raptor right here? Oh no. It's a raptor.